Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley and this is Bliss Studio Hobbies. So for this video, we have a diamond painting unboxing. Yes, I have a diamond painting from Dreamer Designs. It's been quite some time since I've unboxed a Dreamer Designs painting. I, I feel like it's been a while. So I have one for us today. I also ordered one of their little tray sets that I noticed was new on the website. So let's open this and see what it's all about and then we'll get into the diamond painting. So I was looking at the site because I haven't purchased anything lately and I noticed like a new like little divided tray set. Let me get this open first. All right, so I wanted to get it to see how it is. So that's that it came in this little mailing package and here is the tray so let's get it open up sorry for the plastic oh there's like some little bits in here little bits they look like they're broken off of something i don't know we'll have to see what's going on in here so you get three of the dividers here and then you get three three trays so, oh, those bits must have been like extra pieces from something. I don't think anything's broken. At least it doesn't look like. So you get your little tray here. They're purple and they are branded. So we get three of the branded Dreamer Designs tray. These are the larger trays. This is how they close. Oh, maybe those are broken off of the thing here. Huh, interesting. oh so these four pieces are broken off of the two trays these spouts are going to stay open because the little insides are broken off so you see here how you can open this and then i don't know if you guys can see you have these little pieces on the spout part here these are broken off of these so these won't have it so they are broken these two and this one have the pieces i don't think that's a very good designed tray for a closure because i can see how those can be very easy to break off but if you're someone that likes to have your spout closed then that is kind of like a, a flaw in the tray there so two of them did arrive broken so let's see Okay, so these are easy to these are easy to put in. Well, I yeah, they're easy to put in. So what I want to do All right, so they're put in the tray. So one of these go for each tray, but I wanted to see like this. So then you That's how it actually goes. So then I do want to put some drills in here and see how this will work. My concern is that the drills will go underneath because it's not like a, it's a tight, but it's not. So we're going to put some drills in it and see how it works up or if the drill colors combine. So let me get some drills really quickly. We'll do that quickly and then we'll get into the diamond painting. All right. So I just have some spare drills here. We're going to make sure, let me use the one that's not broken. Pretty good for that. So let's see, I'm just going to add some drills on this side. And add this color on this side. Alrighty. Okay. Okay. So I don't think the, okay, when I do that, though, they do stay right there so I don't know I'm just testing it out to see if I would actually like something like this there we go and then okay so that's pretty good so the colors would not mix if um you were using the two colors and had it set up like that. So that's pretty good. The colors wouldn't mix. I just want to do it a little experiment to see if that's something that I would actually like to use. And it is. Um, the colors don't mix and pretty good, right? 
<laughs> my other concern is that taking these out oh it's not bad at all you get these out oh when i'm pouring these out the other color is coming from the side so you have to be careful so that the colors don't mix i did get two drills over here like that because you know yeah see they come out the other side when i'm pouring them back i want to be realistic about how i would use this tray you guys kind of saw like the flaws and everything this is a tray that i would use if i had like two or three areas of color blocking confetti um, you just have to be careful when you're pouring them back into the bag so that the colors don't mix because it is very easy for the colors to escape underneath and mix. So there's that on that. I've never had a divided tray, so I was interested to see how that would work. I will work with these trays so I can get the full, um, the full experience and tell you guys how I like them at a later time. They are cute, and that's a cute color. It goes along with their brand, right? All right, now time for the diamond painting. So I was in a step challenge on the Blunts and Gems Discord group. They had a step challenge. I believe it was June, in June, and I won one of the weeks, so I got a $10 gift card. So I put some of that $10 towards this diamond painting. Um, there were a few other Dreamer Designs diamond paintings that I wanted, but they were out of stock. I'm like, this diamond painting has been on my wish list for a long time. Let me just get it and then add the other ones that I want to my wish list. So today we're going to unbox Jasmine. Jasmine is by Reagan Kubacek and it's from Dreamer Designs. Let's get it open and we will see what it's all about. All right, so this is your Dreamer Design box. Cute little box. Love the purple and the design of it. I love that it has the handle. If you're traveling, you can take your diamond painting with you why diamond paint um uh, everything that your kit includes instructions and then another side there premium diamond canvas kit all right i do like that their diamond paintings come in this little um canvas bag and it's like a cloth material here is your canvas with the little cute bow, toolkit, drills. All right, and we have our um, labeled drills just in case you store them separately. We'll get into that shortly. I love their toolkit bags. They are fabric, they are soft. I just love them. You can use them for so many other things. Let's see what the toolkit's all about. It's been a while. Alrighty, so we have straightener, multi-placers. We have that plastic tip pin and the regular pin. And we have two little purple squishies for your comfort grips. We have some branded tweezers. Two pads of wax. And their little caddies and then we have some dreamer designs little trays here and we have spare baggies that's our toolkit really soft bag love it right, so here is our canvas they do wrap it tightly on a foam roller i don't prefer that but it doesn't ruin the kit or anything so we are going to unwrap the magic this is the top here so this is the top of the canvas. They, the back of their canvas is not soft. It's like the sturdier, it's like the sturdier material, still good quality. Scalloped edges to prevent fraying. It's not the thin canvas. It's the thicker, thicker canvas. Um, we have Jasmine, legally licensed from Reagan Kubacek. It is a 40 by 60 centimeter square diamond painting you have your social medias up here we are unwrapping the magic on this beauty she is a cutie 
So that's going to be tightly wound. And we have the foam roller. All right, here is our legend. They have what's called a floating legend with their diamond paintings. You can cut this up, make it a sticker, and kit up that way. I do not believe this is a sticker. I believe this just is shiny paper. I don't think it's a sticker. Let's see. No, I don't think it's a sticker. I think it's just shiny paper, but you can cut it up and kit up that way, which are floating legend. You have a sheet of paper here that tells you about their social media and things like that. And then since this diamond painting is rolled up so tightly, we are going to roll it onto itself like so to get some of the wrinkles out. You can also peel the cover back and replace it onto itself. First, let's roll it onto itself like this. This is poured glue, so the poured glue is very forgiving, so you won't ruin your glue or your canvas by rolling it. So I like to kind of roll it kind of tight the other way and normally we can get it to flatten out right away which we did that little roll flattened the canvas even though it was rolled so tightly so she's cute i really really like this diamond painting so then we have a legend on the top right and the bottom left at the bottom we have a warranty here paint with passion is their motto and some Dreamer Designs branding. So, Dreamer Designs, they have the thicker plastic cover, which I do like the thicker plastic cover. You can peel that back. Let's see. Sticky, sticky. I thought this canvas was bigger than what it is. I don't look, when I buy diamond paintings, typically I don't look at the sizes either. Sorry about all the noise here. I don't typically look at the sizes either. I just get it because I like the image. But this isn't that large of a diamond painting. It's much smaller than I thought it would be, which I am grateful for. I have not been enjoying larger diamond paintings. I just haven't. Um, I've been enjoying like snack sizes and color blocking and things that I can get done quickly. This is Jasmine. She is so, so cute. I will put a picture side by side so you can see how her face looks here versus how it's actually painted. I think this will render very close to the original image. It looks so cute. This diamond painting has 47 colors and Dreamer Designs put their AVs at the bottom, which I really like that. They're labeled AB, so I don't have to like guess or anything like that. So it looks like there's two ABs, AB08 and AB37. We'll have to see what those are. Look at this canvas, it's so pretty. I love the stars on her shirt here. I like her hair it's blue and then the little stars in her hair so this canvas has a clear drill field I don't think we'll have any troubles placing those drills so my favorite area of the canvas is the view you're viewing right here her cute little face that is my favorite area of the canvas look how cute she is this is my first time I think no I think I have one other Raven Kubitschek diamond penny that I got for Christmas time. It's a girl with a cat sitting in the snow. I believe that's a Raven Kubitschek. I will double check and I will put a picture of it on the screen. But other than that, this one is so cute. This is Jasmine. So pretty. I've had this on my wish list since I first found out about Dreamer Designs long, long time ago, seems like. She is super cute. All right, let's measure this out centimeters here so this should be 40 oh, glue to glue is actually a little over 40 so we got a little more than 40 and then this side should be 60 and it's 60 right on the nose there so dreamer designs they have this finished edge. You guys see how the edge looks finished and you don't diamond paint the edge. It's just like a finished edge. I actually do love that about their diamond paintings. It makes the edge look finished. And most of the time I don't use washi tape around the border because most times in my experience, the glue hasn't extended past that edge. So, and right here, I don't think it has extended past that edge. See, 
I don't know if you can see that on camera, but the glue doesn't extend past that edge. So I really like that about their diamond paintings. Yes, I really like that, that it looks like a finished border around the painting and you don't actually diamond paint that portion of the diamond painting. Like that about their kit. So let's take a one last look at that drill field. Because it is a darker drill field here, I like to make sure that I can see the symbols, which I don't think we'll have a problem with the symbols, even though the drill field is darker. So let's take one last look at this beautiful painting and then we'll take a look at the drills. Jasmine, legally licensed from Raven Kubitschek and Dreamer Designs. Drills. Alrighty, so those were the drills. Here are the two ABs. So the one thing I do like about Dreamer Designs drills is that they are in order when you take them out of the package. And I really like that and appreciate that. So our two ABs are always at the end. So it's number 46 and 47. 47 colors in this diamond painting. Before I get too far, let me... So let's go through the ABs and then I'll take out the colors of the skin. All right, so our first AB is AB08. I do not know the DMC number for that. I would have to look it up, but it's number 46 on the canvas and number eight. It is the symbol six. So let's find out where the symbol six is. Here's that AB up close, 46. It looks like a white AB. Where are the sixes? It doesn't look like there's very many on the canvas, probably. Oh, so here in the whites of her eye, you see some sixes there and some over here. And then you see some sprinkled throughout her hair up here. You see sixes here, some here, a few here. So sprinkled throughout her hair and the whites of her eyes to make her sparkle a little bit there, those are where this AB goes. Second AB is that yellow. Yellow here, it is AB 37, and it is a number five since it is yellow. It's probably somewhere at the top here. Yes, it is in the stars. The stars of her hair has those number fives. So all throughout those stars is where you will see that yellow AB and it's some on these stars as well. I love the little stars in her hair, it's so cute. So that's where you will find the ABs. So there's not very many ABs, which I don't mind at all. We're gonna have just a little sparkle on her face and her hair and then the little star barrettes in her hair. So that's gonna be cute. Isn't she so cute? I can't wait to see how she turns out. I don't know if I've seen anyone complete her yet. I'll have to go look and see, but I don't know. She's cute. Let me take a moment and get the colors that I see in her skin. All right, guys, so here are the colors that I have that I see charted in her skin. I took a moment to take them out. So we have some really orange looking colors and then some dark browns and then a typical brown that I see a lot in 
the skin tone. So in order to make sure her skin tone is right, we have to go back to the original image and see how her skin is painted. On the original image, there does look like there is some orange undertone to her skin color. So when I first took these out, I'm like, what is going on? This looks really orange, but there is an orange undertone to her skin. I don't know if it's quite this orange because this looks really orange. But when I look at the rendering, it looks like it worked out well. Because um, when I look at the rendering on the website. So I am really interested to work this up and to see how this is going to turn out. So let's get into this a little bit. So let's do the orange colors first. We have 16, 17, and 32. So number 16 is the J's. So all this area around here is going to be 721. So that's really orange, right? So it'd be all the J's here is the 721 color. And then surrounding that, well, in the inside of that, you have the C's, which is 722. So we have 722, and then surrounding that is the 721. So 722 here, I hope this makes sense. And then 721 here. And then surrounding those, we have some typical brown colors. 3858 will be surrounding that on the edge here. And then the outermost color, we have 3857, which will be this one, which is uh, these two colors surrounding that outline of her face. The main H in the middle of her face here is 3825. Oh, I didn't even take 3825 out. Give me one second. So here's 3825, which will be the center here. I'm gonna put the rendered um, picture on the screen as well, the rendered from the site on the screen as well as the actual painted photo so you guys can see. But yeah, those colors don't look like colors that we will typically see a lot of in a person of color's face. But when you mix them all together, they may work out. I'll have to work on it to see how they turn out. And I can also tweak it and add colors and take away colors based on how I feel the skin tone is coming out. And then um, 32, 922, where's 32? Is B? Where do I see B's? Oh, so her brow here will be this color. So it's lots of orange tones in her skin, right? And then 921, we see a lot in skin tone colors it's the a's it's sprinkled throughout here so there's lots of colors sprinkled throughout and top of her brow here and then this number 34 or 938 is the um basically the outermost darkest outline of her face so yes we have a lot of orange colors i do want to work on this for one i haven't worked on the dreamer design kit in a while feel like and for two, I'm really interested to see how her skin tone turns out. And she's so cute that, of course, I want to work on it, right? So I am going to try to put this into the rotation soon. Um, I'm working on a diamond painting now that is going relatively quickly for me as of late. So yes, this is Jasmine by Reagan Kubitschek from Dreamer Designs. It is a 40 by 60 square diamond painting with 47 colors and two ABs. So that's our diamond painting for today. I just can't get over how cute she is. Her little face and her little nose and her mouth. So cute. Let's get a little close up there. So cute. So yes, guys, that's really all I have for you today. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate each and every one of you. I am 100 subscribers away from 1,000. Once I get to 1,000, I'll do a big giveaway. We'll have a celebration. We'll have a good old time. So if you're watching this video and you are not subscribed, please do so if you want to stick around and you like what you see today. Thank you guys again. If you love diamond painting, crafting, and all things hobbies, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share my videos with a friend. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.